We are continuing our WCC Summer Hangout Series. Today we are with Kendall McIntosh, Santa Clara goalkeeper. Welcome, Kendall. Thank you. Thank you. How's the summer going for you so far? It's going really well. We just brought the guys in for captain's practice, and, man, we're looking really good. Uh, hard sessions, lots of fitness, but it's going pretty well so far. And tell me about you personally, a little bit about what you've been doing this summer, because I know you've been traveling a little bit. Uh, indeed. I went to, I was in Mexico for a little bit, training there, and then I was also, I went to Chivas, USA, and I spent a week there with the uh, coaching staff and with the goalkeepers, and it was a great experience. Love the staff, love the team. It was awesome just for training, just to uh, get to see the level is, is an amazing experience. Great, and you've had some experience with the U.S. national teams. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what you've done with them. So uh, previously, I was with the uh, under-21s, I believe, in April, and that was just the first camp leading up to the Olympic team in uh, two years' time, I believe. And then before that, I was with the under-20s for the World Cup and World Cup qualifying, and then before that, I was with the under-17s for residency. Did you get to do a lot of traveling with those teams? Yeah, we traveled a lot. Uh, the under-20 World Cup was in Turkey, the qualifying was in Mexico, and then for the 17s World Cup was in Mexico, qualifying was in Jamaica. So that was, that was awesome. That's awesome. When you're with the teams, do you get to do any sightseeing at all, or is it mostly just all soccer all the time? Uh, it's, it's a lot of soccer, but they definitely uh, find time for us to get to see the culture and for us to uh, get to see how different cultures live and how soccer like kind of lives within different countries, so it's, it's amazing. Have you had a favorite country or favorite place that you've gotten to see while traveling with that team? Uh, France with the under 20s. We went to the Toulon tournament. Uh, I would say France was probably my favorite country. I just I love the soccer there. I'd love to play in France at some point. Yeah, that's great. That sounds like a really great experience for you. Let's talk a little bit about Santa Clara soccer. Um, last season was your first season starting at goalkeeper. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what that first full season in goal was like for you. I think it did a lot for me for my confidence within college soccer as I hadn't played that much previously. And then I think uh, I grew a lot as the season went on. From the first game throughout, I think I grew every game. And I think uh, the players that were around me, we uh, grew a bond, and that's really what you need in a good team. You need a strong bond, a strong uh, core group of players that uh, will grind out wins, and I think towards the end, that's what we were doing, and that's what we need to continue to do. And speaking a little bit about that, what are you most excited for for next season, kind of carrying that, that momentum over? Uh, I believe that we have a strong group of guys coming in, as well as a strong group of returners. So I think that um, if we work hard, we do the right things on and off the field, that uh, will surprise some people and we'll, we'll do really well this year. Great. All right, let's get to know you a little bit better. First of all, how did you start playing soccer? How old were you? And uh, tell us a little bit about that. I was, uh, I was four when I started playing. It was just recreational stuff. But then as I got older, when I was nine, uh, I believe that, I went into um, club soccer, and <laughs> I wasn't good enough to play on the field. Initially, my brother was like, oh, he's got to play forward, he's got to play forward. But I went out there, couldn't do it. So uh, they stuck me in goal, and ever since then, I've, it's just kind of stuck with me. I mean, it worked out so far, so I love it so far. That's great. What do you think it is about that position that you just really joy, enjoy and really resonates with you? Uh, just saving shots. I love saving shots. Probably my favorite thing to do ever, just save shots. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Did you play other sports growing up, or was it just soccer? I played basketball and baseball, um, baseball Little League, and then I played basketball uh, up until my freshman year in high school, and then I went to residency, and it's kind of we cut off just soccer from that point on. Yeah, awesome. Had to make a decision at some point. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what is, what is your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Probably uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Um, big Batman family. So uh, it, was, it was a highlight for us. It's, it's been a highlight for us. 
Awesome. What about favorite song or favorite musical group? I know music's hard for some people to narrow down one, so anything in the musical genre that you really enjoy? Um, <laughs> I would say probably Childish Gambino, probably my favorite rapper right now. Really like him, his new album. Uh, it's on repeat for me, but I also like G-Eazy, native guy, Bay Area guy. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what about, okay, so on your soccer team or within your family, are there any nicknames that you go by uh, that have been given to you? Uh, for the team, my nickname is Diesel. So they call me Dees a lot, and, I mean, it's kind of stuck. James Huffer actually gave me the nickname. He's one of the forwards on our team. And then uh, James actually has a nickname also, Huff Nation. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a lot of little nicknames that uh, fly around the team. It's, we have a good culture here. Is there a story about how your nickname came about, or is it just kind of a random nickname you were given? Oh, you got to ask. you got to ask James for that. Okay. <laughs> Next time we talk to him, we will ask him. Yeah. All right. So I know you spend a lot of time playing soccer and in school, but do you have other hobbies outside of that? What can we find you doing when you're not doing those two things? Um, I'd say studying right now. Yeah. Uh, got to get good grades. Uh, coach, coaches stress that, so... Um, yeah, lots, lots of studying, lots of studying. What are you majoring in? I'm a finance major. So. Okay. How'd you come about? How'd you decide to go into that major? Um, my brother, he went to Duke, and uh, he was a psychology major there. He now works uh, for IBM, but um, a lot of his friends are now investment bankers. And uh, in college, I was talking to them a lot. And I know that the iBanking world is difficult, but it's something that really interests me. So it's something Great. that I want to pursue. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, what is one thing that most people may not know about you? Maybe your teammates and your family know, but just your average run-of-the-mill person probably wouldn't know about you. Hmm. Wouldn't know about me. Um, I'm an avid fruit lover. Really? So yeah, so when I go to the grocery store, probably three-fourths of the things I buy are fruit. Um, <laughs> love berries, love watermelon especially, and um, love uh, pomegranates. That's my thing, pomegranates. Love nice. Pomegranates. Have, yeah. you, have you mastered the challenge of opening them well? Because that's pretty I, hard to do. I'm pretty good at it at this point. I would say... Almost a specialist, coming up on master pomegranate opener, but, I mean, don't want to brag too much about my pomegranate exploits. But I mean, for those of us who have are totally clueless, can you explain the secret? Is there a secret? No. I mean, I don't think there's a secret, but uh, what you can do is you get the pomegranate, the little things that stick up out of the pomegranate, you peel those off. There's yeah. going to be a little white thing. You need to dig that out, then put your thumbs in between and just peel it apart. And then once you get there, what I do is I uh, peel the arrows into a cup, and then I kind of drink the arrows, and then it's it's easy, and it's less messy. So Nice. Okay, well, we'll have to put a tutorial up just separately for people who want to know how to, how to peel pomegranate. Um, besides pomegranate peeling, do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm at liberty to say, but <laughs> maybe, maybe another time. Maybe. Okay. This one's a fill in the blank for you. So my teammates would describe me as dot dot dot. Um, happy. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. You've spent a couple years at Santa Clara now. What would you say is your favorite thing about attending that school? Um, probably just the culture, social culture. Um, really fun to just live here. A lot of great people. A lot of great students. Uh, the professors also. Great people, easy to talk to, easy to get help if you need it. And then um, just the ability to, um, to do more if you want to do more, which I think is important because there's always going to be the group of people that like, do the like, minimum amount to get by. But then I think here there's, there's a lot of people that uh, want to do more. And there's always access for that, and I, I really enjoy that here. That's great. Besides the soccer field, because we can't, that's, that's cheating, but is there a favorite place you have on campus where you like to hang out or you just think is really a pretty spot? Pretty spot. Hmm. 
Uh, I mean, when I'm with a couple of my teammates, we like to go in the cafeteria and people watch. That's that's a thing. Lots of people do it. So I'd say that's that's one of the places we go. And then if I want to be alone, probably third floor library. Um, lots of quiet space. Lots of open space. It's a good place to be with your thoughts by yourself. Awesome. Well, Kendall, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your summer. Thank you. You too. Thanks.